Hi, it's Yanis, and this will be my first box or package opening on YouTube. First of all, I would like to say that yesterday I went out with my fellow pipe smoker and we drank some beer, had a few pipes with it, since it was St. Patrick's Day, 17th of March, and on our gathering in the beginning of the March, with other pipe smokers, we also smoked Peterson St. Patrick's Day pipe tobacco, and I really liked it. So, for that, I'm smoking Stanwell Liverpool GR14 pipe, and in it I have an old Dunhill tobacco that was opened, so my uh, friend had to rehydrate it and so on. And this is Dunhill Ready Wrapped. And this is pre-2001 tin of Dunhill Ready Wrapped. I don't know when it was opened and so on, but it was it is pre-2001 and we know that because there is a label on the back when it says that there is a European Council directive from 89, number 622, and this is the number of the European uh, Council directive that uh, was that governed uh, tobacco labeling. So the next one would be in 2001. So this is pre 2001, and I don't know. Uh, which year was that? Because the teens in that time didn't have the, the production codes, the date codes and so on on it, like now. At least here in US and also in, I mean, at least here in European Union and of course also in the um, United States. So, on Thursday afternoon I received the package from a fellow pipe, pipe smoker, Thomas, with the uh, YouTube nick Colossal Squid. He commented on my 100 plus subs giveaway video. And we went from there because the with uh, 100 subs giveaway giveaway questions were about pipe tobacco selling so we kind of uh, went into the conversation about selling and so on so he offered to send me some blends samples of blends of his uh, that he mixed from well-known blends so let us now open the package here is the package from germany Thomas, very good packaging, box inside the box and so on. He actually gave me a, a box from uh, that comes with a pipe, uh, Design Berlin brand that is owned by Planta, Berlin, Germany. And it was Gotha Sand Model 57. and i'm not sure but i think i have that kind of a pipe like the exact model we will see i have to check that so let me first take out the blends and then i will show 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 it to you So this is uh, also a surprise for me, but very important because I plan to talk about this a little bit in the uh, next part of the video. But let's go. Let's go. 
slowly through the samples I received four bags plus one tin and the first one here I will read it from you from this uh, it's a mixture of Red Race Old Gowery Solani Solani uh, Silver Flake this is Virginia Kentucky blend and Virgin the straight Virginia from Cornell and Deal opening night as you can see this is actually a mixture and Solani Silver Flake was a flake but he rubbed it, rub it out and he mixed it the next one is you can see inside Robert McConnell's Old London People Cut uh, Davidoff's uh, Flake Medallions this would be the one that have the the black roll the black inside in the coin inside the coin in the middle of the coin and Dunhill's deluxe navy rolls or as are now known uh, because the name was changed of the blend it's just navy rolls but this one these are from uh, 2009 the first one is also the tobaccos are from 2009 that means that they are around eight years old same goes for this thank you very much Thomas sending me aged tobacco the next one we have a a piece of rope tobacco or twist tobacco and it is Peter's he Peter Heinrichs uh, curly block and some Samuel Gavitz cabbage mixture so two vapors and he also advised me to peel off the first layer outside layer of this twist tobacco because it's somehow better when it's smoked that way and the fourth one is our are actually flakes from uh, Solani, H. Burley flake and McBaron's H.H. Old Dark Fired. Big and nice samples of H. Chewbacca. These are from uh, Burley flake and uh, Old Dark Fired are from 2013 and this one is somehow not too old but he didn't know from which year and then there is also a little bit of surprise from September 2016 and he wrote that this tobacco will be best before 2036 so 18 years Uh, sorry, uh, 20 years. You can see here because let me just move here a little bit. Uh, we talked about because he's a pipe smoker with a uh, with a long experience in pipe smoking uh, also in cellaring and story, uh, storing tobacco so we were talking about cellaring and storing tobacco we exchanged some opinions on using the parafilm and this will you will see here how he is using the parafilm to seal the square tin first he uses a glue to seal the gap between the top and the bottom part of the tin and then he uses the parafilm parafilm is actually a tape 
used in laboratories to seal the samples in epirates or other containers. So we also talked about uh, using wax, glue, uh, about uh, vacuum packaging of the tins and where to store them. So let me show you something because I just did my cellaring. How I cellar tobacco. And this is also information for you, Thomas. So these are my tins. They're not like mason jars from US that have the, the, the lid is uh, uh, formed from two pieces. This is from one piece. So I sanitize uh, the jar, uh, the glass and also the lid. And then I, when I close it, uh, after that, I will also use beeswax to, to actually put it all around here. So even if the rubber inside the lid will somehow get loose, I will uh, still, the, the lid will be still uh, somehow glued together or to the, to the glass with, uh, with the beeswax. So this is my 25 grams or half of normal tin sample. This one is Frog Morton, uh, Frog Morton cellar, and this is a, an aromatic uh, pipe tobacco that I jarred, and this is my 50 gram, the tin that I use for 50 gram uh, tobacco storage. So I use this kind of a, uh, jars, and then, as I said, I use also beeswax to, to seal everything. So the, the air will not go in. That's it. I am not planning to open this. Uh, here, of course, it is a uh, Robert McConnell's, the original Scottish flake. I hope this is the, 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 actual, the actual tobacco that's inside. I think it is. Uh, and Thomas, as I said, and as you, you said, I will actually store this for a few more years and I will open it, let's say, later on. So, my samples that I'm preparing for him, actually they're already prepared, are the samples uh, of the tobacco that I've pressed in February and I think January. It's Robert McConnell's blending tobacco and it is Virginia Latakia blend, 50-50% uh, of Virginia and Latakia because I wanted to somehow recreate Samuel Gavitt's uh, Commonwealth mixture and the next one, the last one, was equal proportions of Virginia, Burley and Kentucky. Uh, tobacco was blending tobacco from Robert McConnell's. All these tobaccos are uh, produced by Kohlhaas & Kopp from Germany. And I cannot compete with, let's say, if we are looking at these samples, these tobaccos, let's say, are nowadays produced by McBaron, uh, Kohlhaas & Kopp, Samuel Gavitt, the Scandinavian Tobacco Group. So when using uh, blending tobacco, we are actually, we cannot to actually really recreate the blends that we want. We can do, we can make a mixture that we like, but the, pr the process of making, let's say, uh, uh, HH All Dark Fired also includes other methods of steaming and pressing and so on, and, and some other acts that I don't know a lot about them. I don't even have the, the possibility to, to, to do them. So at least I can only press the tobacco, mix and press the tobacco. So my samples or my uh, blends that I do from blending tobacco cannot compete with this well-established uh, and respected tobacco, pipe tobacco producers. So hope this was interesting. My, uh, Thomas, my 
uh, samples are uh, going your way on Monday. I hope this was interesting for you all, pipe smokers. Tobacco cellaring is a very important issue right now. It's getting even more important, not only for people who want to smoke aged tobacco, but also for others. So consider that. Check cellaring series from post-human pipers. Po post-human piper, you will, you will find the, the link to his channel below in the bucket. And of course, don't forget to, to check his cellar. You will know when I, uh, you will see the video. And until we meet again, I wish you a lot of pleasant smokes.